for us in between. I don't know. So, um, yeah, it's so funny. Like, I go about my life and I live my life and then I hear these ducks be talking, quacking, squawking. Waddle your ass up out of my life, Inga Marshawn. Like, don't try to use me for clickbait, yo. Hey, Angie! What's up, boo? Oh, you gotta um inbox me your number. I gotta call you. I, I need to check on your mom. How's your mom? How's Aunt Gwen? Please leave me your number. Mommy is back in, in New Jersey with Aunt Lois, with Lois Bethea. So um, you need to tell your mom. They need to get together. It's crazy they're widows now, right? It's crazy. I love you. So yeah, so Inga Marshawn, like, now you want to use me to try to get on? I ain't got nothing good to say about you, and, and nobody really does. You know, I kind of spazzed out when somebody brought it up on my live. On IG. And I think the reason why I spazzed so tough was because the memories that I have of you, Inga, are so just, they make me want to take a shower because they're just, they're, they're based in so much filth. Good afternoon. You know, you're a filthy animal, Inga. You are. You're a filthy animal. And you run around spreading disease because you're too lazy to use condoms and contraception. And, and, and if you want to so do it, like they said, in the Lean On Me movie, do it expeditiously. Just get it done. Don't sit around and keep trying to drag everybody into the depths of hell that is called your vagina. Don't do that. You probably still f***ing everything that moves. You know, when children are, are molded to be workers, in their spirit. It's hard to shake that off if you don't go to God. And if you messing with me, you haven't gone to God. Because God would have told you, leave Jaguar alone. Because Jaguar will smack you with that truth. You were 17 years old in Philadelphia. You was recording the second album. You, the Cisco, Jazz, all of them. We was all in the suit studio in Sigma. Yeah, they're Foxy. She's a bad man, but Gemma, I was there. You remember? Or maybe you don't. You was high and drunk and you was a child. I know you, Inga. Everybody in Philly, especially North Philly, you must have loved that North Philly. You had to love that North Philly. All of a sudden about the North Philly burned a hole through every man's pants that you could find. Every that would you, you would fuck. Drunk or not, high or not, you were whole. And you were staying at Ricky's mom's house, yo. Like, how you go to your boyfriend's mom's house and you're, you're staying under her roof? This this woman's house. And you just decide you're going to take it and stick it in your boyfriend's stomach right in front of the mom and the family in the house. Who does that, yo? Of course he ran away from you. Of course Ricky ran. And because he knew he would be safe in my house. I was all the way on the other side of town. From Sharon Hill to South Street to the river. He ran to the river to get away from your crazy ass. And then you actually had somebody put a to Scott Storch while he was working in the studio to get my number and address. And that's why I told you, come on. I got what you're looking for. I got what you want. Got what you need. I still got. I'm telling you, age has only improved me. I ain't slowed down at all. I'm, box I'm shadow boxing every morning now, yo. I will rock your socks. You better crawl back into your hole, Inga. Don't get in the soup with me, because all I'm going to do is stir the pot and turn, and turn the fire up. Ha! Ah. I don't know if it can be burned anymore, because you done burned your whole reproductive system down. But if there's anything left, I'll burn it up. Clean up these streets, because you are a... 
you have a whole seeds in Gamasha. Period. Duh. You're dirty. You're filthy. You're nasty. Crawl back in your hole and keep my name out your mouth. But I promise you, you come to Dallas, Texas looking for me, I got some more of that good thing for you. They call it act right. I'm, who knows? I might be so hard in your head right here that your hearing comes back. It could be a miracle. It could be a miracle. I might be able to knock your straight this time. Keep my name out your mouth, Inga. I don't want to hear nothing more about it. You was young and dumb then, and apparently not much has changed if you're picking a fight with me. Because I'll just start asking all of my Philly dudes who were burned by you to start posting about how many times you had unprotected sex with them and gave them all the clap. And you thought I was sleeping with Ricky. Why would I sleep with Ricky when he was sleeping with you? Who would do that? Who would know how dirty you are and go behind you? Unless they wanted to catch a disease. Unless they wanted um, to have a month-long prescription of penicillin or eight shots in your ass. Like, who would go behind you? Your family. A whole and I'm not saying it's your fault, but I'm saying clean up after yourself. Even, even you know, animals, they clean up. They Even animals can be taught to clean up after they self. Even you can learn self. You don't got to be able to hear or talk to learn. You are not the first mute that, um, that can learn something new. You too can learn. I can teach you how to not be a disgusting piece of trash. You sow. You a whole a whole filthy. Happy in your filth. Rolling around. Keep talking. Or trying to. I don't know. I don't know how it sounds. I'm not even going to make fun of you. Because people, there are people that are by, by no choice. You had a choice. You you just didn't take care of your and, and you lost your hearing and your voice, you know? That was a choice because you was a dirty ass. So, yeah. Um, yeah, Inga Marshine. Keep, keep Just keep my name out your mouth. This is everything for me, baby.